Number 25, New England, 1938. Hurricane New England made landfall on Long Island and extended up to the Connecticut River Valley. Winds brought by the storm reached 186 miles per hour, while heavy rains brought massive flooding that killed around 600 people. Number 24, Mitch, 1998. Considered one of the deadliest hurricanes of the century, the torrential rains of Hurricane Mitch caused massive flooding that killed over 20,000 people in Nicaragua and Honduras and left thousands of families homeless. Number 23, Miami, 1926. This powerful hurricane brought 132 mile per hour winds to Miami, putting the island of the famous Miami Beach underwater. Hundreds of people drowned and billions of dollars worth of properties were damaged. Number 22, Key Largo, 1935. Hurricane Key Largo, also known as the Violent Labor Day Storm, was one of the most violent hurricanes to ever make landfall in the United States. It swept across the middle part of Florida with winds as fast as 200 miles per hour and killed nearly 400 people. Most of those who survived the storm were washed over islands but were able to survive by clinging to palm trees. Number 21, Katrina, 2005. Considered the most destructive and deadliest tropical cyclone in 2005, Hurricane Katrina was also the costliest natural disaster ever recorded in the history of the United States. It killed almost 2,000 people due to subsequent floods and brought property damage amounting to 80 billion. Number 20, Ivan, 2004. This large and long-lived hurricane brought massive destruction in the United States and the Caribbean. It was the fourth major hurricane of the 2004 Atlantic hurricane season, reaching category five strength on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane scale. This powerful cyclone also spawned 119 tornadoes across the eastern part of the United States. Number 19, Isabel, 2003. Known as the deadliest and costliest hurricane during the 2003 Atlantic hurricane season, Hurricane Isabel developed near the Cape Verde Islands in the form of a tropical wave. After moving northwestward with warm waters, it intensified with peak winds of 165 miles per hour. Number 18, Hugo, 1989. This powerful hurricane hit the Virgin Islands as well as the north coast of Puerto Rico in 1989 before it caused widespread damage and loss of life in Charleston, South Carolina. Number 17, Hazel. Considered the strongest storm to have ever hit the east coast of Florida, Hurricane Hazel wallowed in the Caribbean for a period of one week and moved northwards, sweeping across Haiti and the U.S. eastern seaboard. It brought flooding all the way up to Canada. Number 16, Greta Olivia, 1978. A two-ocean hurricane, Hurricane Greta was among the six Atlantic hurricanes that hit Central America in 1978. The seventh named storm during the season, this hurricane started as a tropical wave at the northwestern part of Trinidad and gradually intensified as it moved northwest. It was renamed Hurricane Olivia when it entered the Pacific and struck Mexico. Number 15, Gloria, 1985. Hurricane Gloria hit the northeastern part of the United States in 1985 and was the first major storm to make landfall in that region for several decades. Number 14, Ginger, 1971. Hurricane Ginger was one of the longest lived hurricanes on record. It swept across the Atlantic Ocean halfway to Spain before turning back to the US mainland. Number 13, Gilbert, 1988. Hurricane Gilbert is known as the strongest Atlantic hurricane on record. It was an intense tropical cyclone that brought massive destruction to the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean during the Atlantic hurricane season of 1988. Considered the most intense hurricane ever observed in the Atlantic basin, it killed 433 people and caused $7 billion worth of damage in Mexico. Number 12, Galveston, 1900. Hurricane Galveston hit the Dominican Republic, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and Haiti in 1990, killing roughly 10,000 people. Number 11, Floyd, 1999. Hurricane Floyd hit the northeastern part of the United States in 1999 and caused disastrous flooding in North Carolina. It caused the third largest evacuation in U.S. history, where 2.6 million coastal residents had been displaced before its approach. Number 10, Faith, 1966. Hurricane Faith reached the northernmost latitude and had the longest track of any Atlantic tropical cyclone. Number 9, Donna, 1960. Hurricane Donna actually caused a plane to crash in Senegal before moving across the ocean and hitting the eastern coast of the U.S. in 1960. Number 8, Debbie, 1961. This hurricane developed along the west coast of Africa and made its way to the Atlantic until it reached the west coast of Ireland where it killed 11 people. Number 7, Charlie, 2004. Hurricane Charlie was the second major hurricane during the Atlantic hurricane season of 2004. At its peak intensity, it delivered 150 mile per hour winds, making it a category four hurricane based on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane scale. Number 6, Carla, 1961. Coming ashore west of Galveston, Texas, this enormous hurricane actually had relatively few fatalities compared to other hurricanes on this list. Number 5, Camille, 1969. 
Hurricane Camille was one of three Category 5 hurricanes that made landfall in the United States during the 20th century. It was also the only Atlantic hurricane that had a recorded sustained wind speed of 190 miles per hour. Number 4. Bob, 1991. Considered one of the strongest hurricanes to have ever hit New England, it caused massive destruction in North Carolina with maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour. Number 3. Betsy, 1965. This billion dollar hurricane that destroyed Florida and the central United States Gulf Coast in 1965 was a tropical cyclone characterized by its intense and erratic nature. It was the first tropical cyclone in the Atlantic Basin to cause almost a billion dollars worth of damage. Number 2. Andrew, 1992. This small yet powerful hurricane originated from Cape Verde and caused around $25 billion worth of damage in the United States, particularly in South Florida and Louisiana. And number one, High End, 2013. Although this list is about hurricanes, for the last item we're going to step into the Eastern Hemisphere, where these storms are known as typhoons, only because of the typhoon High End's ferocity. It was so devastating that it was the strongest typhoon ever recorded unofficially in terms of wind speed. It left several parts of Southeast Asia utterly devastated, particularly the Philippines where more than 6,000 people died. If you liked the video you just saw, then consider clicking on the button at the top right to subscribe. Also, check out our other popular videos, 25 Funniest Google Autocomplete Fails, and 25 Famous Company Names and Where They Came From. If you're still itching for more, Go check out our website at list25.com for a whole bunch of cool lists.